Okay, folks, now we're back and we're on the computer. And you might be able to tell it's a Mac, but a Windows PC will work exactly the same way. So we are going to use the uh, supplied cable. I've found one time I tried to use another cable I had for a different Senate, and it just didn't seem to work. I don't know why. So I'm using the supplied cable that came with the Senna 10C EVO. So obviously that's a USB plug. We're going to plug it into my USB hub here. Just like so. Now when you go to the website, let's go and uh, go to the computer here. All right. So we're on Senna.com. If you click on support, so we'll go to support, obviously motorcycles. And their website is really uh, good, easy to navigate. So we're going to go down here to uh, the 10C EVO. All right, that's the one we just purchased. And if you go under downloads, you're going to see here where you can download the uh, Senna Device Manager. This is how you will update your device and uh, make sure it has the latest firmware on it. Now, I do have it on my computer, so we are going to see if uh, the one I have will work. If not, it should update itself. Let's see if I can find it here. Um, sometimes we have so many applications on our computers. There it is, Senna. All right. It says there's a newer v version uh, is available. Would you like to update your Senna Bluetooth Manager? Yes, we do want to do that. All right, we're going to update. And we'll just throw that in my downloads folder right here. I'm going to pull that down. And uh, we'll go ahead and open it and install it real quick here. All right. Put in my super secret password. All right. And we'll move the installer to the trash. All right. Let's go back in here. Open it up again. Now we should have a good version. All right. No device recognized. All right. So what we're going to do first is we're going to plug our device in to the small cable. As you see, the Senna 10C EVO. I would imagine it only goes in one way because the antenna is in the way to go the other way. So, yep, I was right. So it went in one way with the uh, adapter facing away from you. Okay, we can see they picked it up. It sees it there. Uh, see next. We're going to do next. Let's see if it's there. And you can see the current firmware version on it. Brand new device out of the box is 1.1. There's a new version of 1.2. Uh, voice prompt is English. So I'm going to click yes because I want the new firmware to install. So here's the firmware. You can see that was my 10C Pro that I had in the past. I don't know. I did put yeah, Senna. I'm going to make a new folder here called uh, 10C EVO just to keep it nice and neat. All right, we're going to download that. There it is, and then it's going to start updating the firmware. So at this point, the only thing you got to do is watch the prompts. The prompts will tell you if it wants you to turn the device off, if it wants you to turn it on, if it wants you to hold the, uh, the home button or the jog button. It will It will walk you through each one of those steps of what you should do as it's updating the firmware. So... Um, until there's a prompt, I'm going to uh, pause this video for a length of time uh, and watch this. It's like watching uh, grass grow. So I'll be right back with you. Okay, so at that point we can see the update went well. We didn't have any troubles um, other than one, I'm going to admit, because whenever I make a mistake, I don't want you guys to make the same mistake. Make sure you put a, um, make sure you put a micro SD memory card in your... 10C EVO before you start the firmware update because it has to have somewhere to write the update to and it writes it to that card and that it installs it from that card. So, uh, yep, that was a problem of mine. Sorry, uh, that was uh, a disclaimer that makes sure you have your SD card in. But we can see now here on our screen that the 
Senna 10C EVO now has version 1.2. Click Next. All right, now these are some of the little things here that we can uh, work with. And you can also, once you sync or once you um, connect your phone via Bluetooth to your uh, camera, you can also do this. And I'll show you the menuing system on the phone here in just a second. But these are a few things like audio boost. Um, I normally, and if you click on any of these, it's going to tell you when audio boost is enabled, you can hear audio at a louder maximum volume level. Um, so that's what you're listening to. I normally enable that. I find sometimes it's hard to hear um, people when they're talking to you. So I enable that just to have it on. The Vox phone. But you can answer incoming phone calls by saying the word loudly enough. I turn Vox off. I don't want that on um, because it's very easy to answer. If you've ever used a Senna product, if your phone is ringing, just tap the button on the back and you can answer that way. It's very easy to do. Vox intercom, we're going to leave off. Uh, audio multitasking, I'm going to leave that disabled. Audio uh, source priority is either intercom or music. I leave mine to intercom. That means if somebody is, if you're going down the road listening to music and somebody starts talking to you on the intercom, the intercom will take over and the music will actually stop. HD voice. HD voice converts hand-free audio quality uh, for from normal to HD. So I normally do enable HD voice. HD intercom is enabled. Voice prompts, I leave those enabled. Radio station guide, that is enabled. Side tone is disabled. Side tone is when this feature is enabled, you can hear what you are saying through your headset during the intercom conversation with a phone call or a phone call. You don't want that. So every time you talk, you can hear yourself talking in your headset. You don't want that enabled. Advanced noise cancellation is enabled. You can see here, advanced noise uh, control reduces the effect of ambient noise during intercom conversations. So we're going to leave that enabled. Once you have all that, just click on save, and that will save that to your device. Here we're going to see there's more here. The more is either uh, you can set your speed dials up for uh, whoever you would like to call and your FM radio guides. So you can have some presets for your radio guides. And I'll just probably do that later on down the road. I'm not really concerned. But you would just check it. You put a radio station in here. Uh, like one of our local stations is uh, 96.9. I believe that's it. Is Bob FM. So we'll do something like that. So we have that. Hit. Make sure you always hit save. And that will save that once again. All right. So... Then you can go to new device. If you have another device, you can start all over again and update that device. The next thing we're going to show you here is I'm going to walk you through a little bit of settings um, on the phone and show you how the phone is uh, connected. We'll talk about that. And then we'll uh, show you some settings on the phone to set your uh, your your camera up. And, and so that's the audio part of this. To set the camera up, we have to be connected to the device and then we can go into the camera app and set up some of the camera stuff so we'll see you back here on that part of the video okay to finish up this video I was hoping I could do a screen capture with the camera app here but I cannot do it because I'm on a different wireless now what I mean by that is when you have your when you have your uh, 10c EVO to get into the wireless so you can use your camera app you have to turn the camera button on at that point, what it's going to do, it's going to emit a wireless signal. And then you have to go to your phone. See if I can go into this and show you this real quick. Hopefully, I can show you. Is when you go into your Wi-Fi thing, you'll see a 10C Pro, if you can see that. Hopefully, the camera will capture that. And you have to connect from your home wireless or whatever wireless. You're not connecting your camera to your home wireless. You're connecting your phone to the wireless built into the camera. Once we do that... Then the other important settings to do, and this is very much um, on you. you. You know, you can set this camera up however you want to. I'm going to go through my settings, the way I like to set it up. So there's the camera app. I'm connected to, I am connected to it there. Uh, if you see here, see here, 
So we can actually see a live shot around the room, right? We can see all that. But if you look at the very bottom, there's a tool, a toolkit, right? So if I click on that, that's going to allow me to get into the settings menu. Now I'm just going to read these off to you. So the photo setting, the photo mode, leave it on single shot. That means when I tap the top button, it will take a still shot of whatever you're looking at. Perfect. The video mode, uh, normal recording mode is what you want. You can set it to time lapse or something if you want to do that. The video resolution is very important, folks. Now, you can set this up. This is a 4K camera. If you capture it 4K, you're going to capture it 30 frames per second. I turned mine for now. I'm going to try it anyway. Since I don't like the big file formats of 4K, I set it to 1080p at 60 frames a second because I feel that you get better motion and everything at 60 frames a second. You can also take that all the way down to 1080 frames at 30 frames a second, 1080p at 30 frames. Most people on YouTube watch 1080p. I mean, not a whole lot of people watch 4K anyway, so why do you want to really work with that file format size? The next thing is time-lapse interval. It says one second. I don't really use it. I'm going to leave it as default. The video microphone gain. So the video microphone gain, by default, it's medium. I recommend to everybody to start at medium, go out, do a couple test videos, because if your audio gain is way high, it can over-modulate you, and then you get that whoop, whoop, whoop when you're talking. So what I try to do is leave it at medium. If I need the gain to be raised, you can raise that in your editing program and post very easy. Uh, and then it, 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 if you have too much gain, you get that muffle, there's no way to get rid of it. Right? If the, if the audio is a little lower, you can always raise it in, in, in editing. The date caption, leave that off. Um, I have a lot of reasons for that. Uh, one, I don't like the date and time on there uh, because what happens is, say if you film something on a Monday and it has Monday's date, Monday's time, which is fine, but then you don't really get a chance to edit it until Friday and you post it Saturday. Now people know that video is a week old. If you don't have the date time capture, you might have filmed it yesterday. The date format, again, don't worry about that. Auto camera sleep, always leave that on because what happens there is if you have the camera, you might have forgot to shut the camera off after you're done recording, it will shut the camera itself off, not the audio part. It won't shut like your center off, so leave that on. Wi-Fi settings default, format SD card. I recommend when you get in this app, hit that for the very first time. Make sure your card is formatted to that camera. And then... Uh, the camera firmware version, I don't know if you can see that, but it's 1.4.1. Remember the Senna version that we updated on the firmware in this video, we updated to 1.2. This device has two different sets of firmware. There's one for the camera and there's one for the Senna, the audio. So that will get you through all of that. I did hook it to the Bluetooth. When you do hook a Senna to your Bluetooth, if you've never done it before, Always hook it with the back button, the back button on the center. And the reason we do that is some people want to use that jog wheel. Jog wheel. Well, what happens is now you can't connect to other centers. So the back one is, is always for the phone. So connect that to your Bluetooth on your phone. Very simplistic. So you can actually go into the center utility app and you can adjust all those same settings that we adjusted with the desktop app. There we go. We're connected. And you can see all the stuff in there again. Uh, if, if the camera's picking that up, I hope that it did. If it didn't, you won't see that, obviously. But audio boost, uh, the Vox we talked about, Vox intercom, audio multitasking, HD voice is turned on, HD intercom is turned on, um, the voice prompt, side tone is turned off, and um, advanced noise control is turned on. So again, you don't have to go back to the computer. You can always just use your phone and go in there and adjust those with the uh, the Senna app. So very simplistic at that point. So the last thing I'm going to do now is I am going to uh, go ahead and wire this up and go out and get some uh, test video and start playing around a little bit with it here uh, this afternoon when I get a chance and uh, get it on my helmet and, and 
get it all lined up. Again, use the camera app on the bike. Once you're sitting on the bike, I showed you that little jog wheel under there, on the front there, that little jog. That is the same as the 10C Pro. We used to turn the lens, but now you can look on your bike. I like to sit straight up, get your bike off the kickstand, look straight off the bike, and make sure that your video is not tilted to the left or to the right. You want to make sure it's, you know, it's, it's a nice view, so... All right. Well, thank you very much. Hopefully, I, get, I was able to edit this video down to make it uh, worthwhile for you to learn. Uh, but I wanted it to be much more than the unboxing. I wanted it also to be a configuration. So thanks you so much for hanging in there with me. And uh, enjoy your 10C, uh, your Senna 10C EVO or your 10C Pro, whichever one you have. They're both great cameras. Um, the biggest thing they did with this one with the new model is they gave you the the ability to record in 4k which maybe you want to do that maybe you don't um, the newer 10c pro did do 1080 at 60 frames a second which is very important to me uh, i like that smoothness of the scenery at 60 frames a second uh, but 30 frames also still works well because i record it 1080 at 30 frames with my uh, drift hd i've been doing it for years it's still a great camera all right. Take care, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you've uh, enjoyed this video, you know what? I usually don't ask, but give it a little thumbs up. We'll talk to you next time. Take care. Uh, remember, ride your own ride. Be safe out there, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye for now.